In the context of the Associated International Laboratory that we have created with our colleagues from IPBS Toulouse, we have shown that host array lipids generated during infection by the tuberculosis bacillus alter the metabolic activity of macrophages, which results in a decrease in resistance to infection. Responsible for 1.5 million deaths a year, tuberculosis is still the most deadly infectious disease in the world today. We have known for a while that macrophages, the Mr. Pac-Man of the immune system, because they love to eat material, they can be reprogrammed by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Here, we wonder if this reprogramming is due to the metabolic state of these macrophages. To address this question, we use long pleural effusions from patients. These are biological fluids whose composition resembles that of the lung cavity that are secreted by the body in response to stress, such as heart failure, lung cancer, and pulmonary infections like tuberculosis. So the active component of pleural effusion was found to be lipid. So we analyzed the lipid content of these effusions at the MetaTool Lipidomic Core Facility. We develop a method of quantification of 50 PUFA metabolites. This profile is based on the analysis of inflammation mediator and its resolution that play a key role in physiopathological process. In our project, we detect and quantify them in pleural effusion in tuberculosis patients. So what supports today the important role of this chemical messenger in the properties of pleural effusions is that when we use these lipids extracted from the effusion, we are able to reproduce the alteration in macrophage metabolism. This study has advanced our understanding of the host immune response to tuberculosis. The fact that a macrophage engaged to kill a pathogen can be switched into a permissive cell by targeting its metabolism is such a great fit by mycobacterium tuberculosis and especially because it does so by using the host's own lipids. Furthermore, this study has also established pleural effusions as a relevant model to study the lung immune response to tuberculosis. And ultimately, we plan to implement this experimental approach to other infections, such as SARS-CoV-2 virus that is responsible for the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic.